Hi, it's Veronica again, California School for the Blind Curriculum and Outcome Specialist, and I'm going to show you how to navigate the test, a practice test, with, um, with magnification. I'm going to share my screen. Um, so I already have Zoom text on. I opened it before I opened up Firefox. You want to always make sure that your accessibility software is open first. I'm going to go to casp.org. And then I'm going to click on the practice and training test right here. Um, and this is just for the training test. And when you're practicing with your student in a real live um, testing session, you're going to click the test administrator interface for all online tests. But for this, since we're doing practice, we're going to do practice and training test. And then as a teacher, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Apple, the test administrator and test examiner practice and training site. And then I'm going to get signed in. Internet seems to be a little slow today. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on start a new session now. Choose my school, click go. And then I'm going to just go to a training test. I'm going to go to math, and do grade six through eight math training test. And then I'm going to click um, start practice session down at the bottom. Um, when you do it with your students, you're going to go ahead and open up the secure browser after opening up um, Zoom text on their device. Um, but for this training purposes, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the CASP website um, because if I open up the secure browser, I won't be able to have Zoom on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on practice and training tests. So this, I'm now doing the student side, but you guys are going to do the secure browser. And I can click this green T, uh, student interface practice and training test. And I'm going to toggle on the guest session. And then I'm going to go back to the TA side and get that train number, 4EF9. 4EF9, 67. And I press enter. I'm going to choose my grade. I'm going to make it a sixth grader. And I'm gonna start the math training test. Now it's gonna wait for approval. So I need to go back to the TA side. And if there's no approval here, I can click the refresh button and then it'll show up. It'll have a nice one in a red circle. Then I'm gonna click on the eyeball to make sure all of everything is set up correctly. So presentation should be English because there's someone with low vision. So you don't need to change it to braille. Permissive mode, I'm going to turn on because I want to be able to use Zoom text. Um, and so when you open up Zoom text initially, you want to go ahead and do your color contrast, you want to do your mouse pointer, everything that the student is accustomed to. You want it to be um, the way that they're used to, you want them to be comfortable. So you're going to go ahead and do that in your Zoom text settings. And so I'm not going to change my color contrast here. I am going to change my zoom level. I'm going to do 1.7x just to start off, or 1.75x to start off. And then streamline, you want to make sure that you try this out with your students. Um, streamline again is that if you choose streamline, the passage is going to be on top and all the questions will be below. Um, and if you don't choose streamline, the passages will be on the left side and then the questions will be on the right side. So it's a, a preference and this may um, maybe determined by how large your student needs 
or maybe if there's just too much on the screen, they might prefer that um, streamline mode. I'm gonna go ahead and do streamline. Um, mouse pointer, everything else looks good for someone who's just using magnification. I'm gonna go ahead and set and approve it. And then on the student side, you're gonna listen to fantastic piano music. And then I could play the sound and video. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the test now. And I don't think I shared my sound, so you did not get to enjoy the beautiful piano music. I'm sorry. Um, so what I like to tell people is that they want to use the embedded magnification. Um, so you're going to go ahead and zoom in and zoom out using the embedded magnification. Um, rather than the zoom text magnification, um, because then it all stays on the screen and you don't need to pan. Um, so we're going to go ahead and choose this one. And then we're going to go to the next button. And this is where um, sometimes you will need to use that, um, that zoom text uh, magnification. So right here, select all equations that have n equals 6 as a solution. So this looks fine the way that it is. If I start zooming in, still looks good. Still looks good. But then at one at some point, you're going to get to a point where those times, the four times n, is now a very small decimal point. At least it looks like it looks like four point n. Um, and in those cases, and that happens quite often um, in equations and um, the images. The images don't get larger. And so um, you want to make sure that you, um, you use your zoom text magnification. So now I just did caps lock enter to make it large again. So now I can look, I can read it as big as I need it to be. I can make it bigger. And those dots for the, um, the multiplication sign are going to still say big because I'm using my zoom text magnification, not the built-in magnification. And then once I choose my answer, and I didn't read the question, um, so don't judge if I got the answer wrong, um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down to the, just the embedded magnification. So I'm going to do caps lock enter, brought it back down to 1x in my zoom text. And so now my answer is chosen, and I can go on to the next one. And that is magnification. Um, on the test. You just want to make sure that you're using the embedded magnification as much as possible. And um, when you get to something that's not enlarging or enlarging weird, like the last case, um, that you go ahead and, and use that zoom text magnification to look at it. And then you can go ahead and turn off the zoom text magnification again. And that's it. Good luck.